Hey everybody. Hello everybody. Hey everybody. It's Brock. This is Brock. And we got a new episode with another episode of All About. Of All About. All About. What's up everybody? It's Brock and we got a brand new episode of All About today. Today we're not learning about a fish. We're actually learning about a sand sifting starfish or sea star. These guys are great sand sifters. It is awesome to watch them run through it and clean it up and turn it pretty white again. Prices on them, you spend about 12 bucks on them. They're not too pricey. Tank size, doesn't matter, any. Care level, they are super easy to take care of. You don't even have to feed them. Temper, they are very peaceful. Reef compatible, yes. A good thing about these guys is they don't knock over your stuff kind of like a fighting conch would do. They never seem to knock over your corals or push sand over them at the, for the brains and stuff that are sitting on the bottom. Temperature, you want to keep it 72 to 78, DKH 8 to 12, pH 8.1 to 8.4, and your salinity 1.023 to 1.025. Make sure you keep it right in there. Too big of jumps can really hurt them. A lot of times if you change it up too bad or your water levels are not good, they can lose their legs. It's a great sign to see if something's wrong with your water. Make sure you slowly acclimate them. They do need it so they don't so that salinity doesn't jump on them and they're not used to it yet diet they are omnivore they are they're scavenger they're gonna be running around eating stuff in the sand eating detritus eating leftover food that the fish didn't eat anything like that if you don't ever see him that's the best thing because he's staying under that sand and finding plenty of food I have noticed that whenever they do start running out of food, they will start to climb up your glass, kind of like they're eating the algae that's growing on it. So if you do see that, you might need to throw some pellets down there below him, something for him to run over so he'll stay on the bottom because that's where he really needs to be. Max size, on the internet, it says a foot long for some reason. I have never seen that. If you got a foot long sand sifter in your tank, you need to send me that picture because I want to see that. Biggest ones I've seen, about three inches. You want ever see anything that big compatibility just ask you can put multiple of them in a tank just make sure you have plenty of sand bed for them to run around in because eventually once they run out of room and they're running out of food they will eat each other so watch out for that uh, another thing is I would definitely recommend only getting one sand sifter type for your tank if you're gonna go with the sand sift and star just get sand sift and stars if you're gonna get a fighting conch just get them and, uh, and there's also nasarius snails also if you get one of those just stick with them just stick with one category of sand sifters it really helps out for them not trying to kill each other over food colors nice tans whites little running all over them origin they come from all over there's some in fiji indonesia singapore and i'm sure a lot of other places they do need trace elements. Pretty much you can get those from chemicals putting in the water or just doing water changes adds it right back to there. Uh, what else is there? They're great for getting rid of diatoms. We have bad diatoms in some of our tanks at the shop just because we go through so many fish and they build up and we chunk a bunch of these guys in there and they do the job and they turn it back pretty white. And other than that, I mean, he's super easy to take care of, and he makes your sand like you want it to be. That's it for today. I guess one other side thing is before you go do your water change and you start shoving that little siphon tube down in there, figure out where he is, chunk him in the corner, and then go at it. Because if you jam that thing down on him, he's not. it's not going to be good for him. Hope you all have a good day. Make sure to like and subscribe. Check out my other videos. I got. I mean, it's, we're hitting over 100 now. It's crazy. So I will see y'all later. Hope y'all have a good week. If you need anything, just let me know. I'm always here.